<laughs> hey, we're here. We're so excited. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to be doing that? We're Wait. so here. We're live. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, so first mistake number one. <laughs> right now? Or because... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you? Do you have to keep flipping that? Well, this is no. good because nobody's watching right now, so that's kind of cool. So, it's Randy Circle and say, um, join us on Maria's channel. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> In my uh, shows. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, this is this is. Um, yeah, this is. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're having okay, fun. I know. Okay, so we really. Okay, so we really. Um, we're just learning. Okay, we got we got the sister serenity circle dialed in, <laughs> but as far as the technology, eh, okay. So I need. We need. We get to. We get no. We need. We get to get. Um, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get six more people need to go to Sister Serenity Circle so we can go live on there and not make an ass of ourselves. I didn't know those criteria, right? Uh -huh. I kind of did a, an example post, but anyway. So this is so this is on yours, right? Yes. Okay, but hey, you're freaking amazing. I couldn't have done all that you did behind the scenes, and you're so on time, oh, and you're so organized, oh, and you. you really are. Hey, Janelle. Janelle. kids are getting older just like ours but then that also means we're getting older yeah but that's okay that's yeah. okay we're supposed to support each other yes so, anyway yes okay so even janelle is waiting so what do you got to say so i love you mm -hmm. my sister my sister uh from another mother right Is yeah, they yeah. Say? hey yeah. we're all sisters yeah. we're all sisters so we're just so excited because we have spent the past year and a half just kind of fine tuning and we we ended up with this this program how how did we end up with this program Rena? <laughs> well i mean if anybody has seen yeah. our sister rules series um, yeah, that's it true. started out with just like sort of being inspirational videos and inspirational stories that we wanted to tell we did then, one where we we made it through right yeah yeah and then our um uh, producer was like oh you know you should tell your life story or you know what's going on with you and by doing that we sort of uncovered you know things that were sort of unspoken even with us as sisters and the pain from childhood and um, going from childhood to adulthood and how do we navigate mm -hmm. our lives and keep that bond and that closeness and um, through the series of filming we uncovered so much stuff a lot of stuff you wouldn't even I mean that wasn't even at the forefront so which is really cool so we've designed our program sister serenity circle to help sisters so you're not on camera pooping yeah, yeah you're not on camera um, you know or, or just discovering something what you're at Thanksgiving and you're bringing up something and it's not from not 20 years ago I know so that's what's really really cool so that's how we designed sister serenity circle and we've given you all the tools in our program in order to have those real authentic conversations and to dive deeper than the surface like hey how's it been going oh what, what are you doing what are your yeah. plans for the weekend how was your day you know it's just yeah surfacey when we get to we get to live the real deal right I mean, yeah. So Janelle, let me ask you a question. Mm. So yeah. So you so how how are your relationships? I mean, not just, you know, with your you know, family, but like, you know, maybe your husband or your coworkers. Do you do you feel vulnerable and that you are, you know, open up and or do you feel like there's like unspoken pain that's not been discovered? <laughs> she's like uh, I'm just watching I okay. <laughs> no I mean that's something to think about because you know what a lot of times you don't even realize that there's unspoken pain 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't, you don't realize it. So that could be like, no, everything's fine. Everything's good. Just like us. Like, yeah. oh yeah, we have a great relationship. Yeah. Everything's good. Until you really want to get to that, that level, not the surface level, but the real level of living and, and dealing with whatever comes right. up. And you know, it's really interesting and we're always learning as well. But last night we went to our mm. uh, church community and they have a, a five week program that we're part of that mm. is, it talks about relationships and I'm like, okay, well we've got this figured out right over the last two years, but no, I mean, it struck me really hard when, when the pastor was talking about um, the family of origin right. and a lot of times our habits and the things that we um, bring into our marriage, like my marriage with Larry or our sister relationship or even co-workers and stuff really stems from your family of origin mm -hmm. and how you were brought up. And I never really looked at it that way. Um, but I knew at a very young age that I didn't want to follow that path of how we grew up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still a struggle to not you know, do Fall something. Back. Well, I yeah, mean, it's, it's in your DNA. You know what I mean? It's in your, your DNA and your blood and, and it affects everything because how you were raised. Well, even, okay, this is a good point. So, cause even though we were raised by the same mom, our feelings and our perception was a little bit different. Mm. You know, I was the older sister. She was the younger sister. She looked up to me. Mm. Do you still look up to me? Well, Anyway, we're on an even playing field now. It's taken yeah, which all is these which years. is really really cool yeah. because and it's like I'm still trying to get used to the support that I get from you because I, <laughs> no, I'm I'm being serious and you know what I mean. All joking aside, it's been it's been really transforming. Yeah, it's, but it's been good. But you know yeah. when you when you have the same habits and and you grow up and you think that's the norm. Um, because you always played the mother figure for me, and I enabled that. I allowed I enabled that. that. Well, you enabled it, but I allowed it, and I just thought... You okay. wanted it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Our personalities so, are completely different. No, yeah, so, but, so, but when, when I had the aha moment, like last year, and I was like, you never have... You didn't give me the opportunity mm -hmm. to step up because you always said, you know, I didn't feel like you were strong enough to support me or to right, right. to be that person when I was falling short. And but but because I was in that that little sister role, mother role type of thing, um, I never stepped out. And then when I was able to step out and up, then I proved to you and showed you that I could be that strong person or that support. Well, you you, you actually you dove into that, into the grown-up role, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I mean, of, no, I get to have my opinion, I get to support you instead of sitting back and, well, it's kind of hard when your husband does everything for you, yeah. and when we've had employees who have done everything, we get to delegate everything, but you have, like, you are at the forefront, mm -hmm. which still blows me away, and I still get emotional over it. Yes, I do. Wait, what do you well, mean? like last night, I oh. couldn't even. I'm like, oh. wow, we've never had unconditional love, never, you know, from mom or whatever. And then you could go, oh, poor me, poor me. It's not even about poor me. We had a bad yeah. childhood, or even what I discovered, because you use the word trauma, and I think trauma that's a little extreme, right? But we all have different definitions of trauma, and and trauma, it's it does affect you. And we don't get to compare mm. our story with anyone else. Just because someone else, you know, lost all their limbs, doesn't mean that my pain from the lack of love that I didn't get from mom is diminished, you know? Right. So it does, you know, so that's one thing that I've learned to accept. We don't have to feel sorry for ourselves or we're living in the past and yeah. we're making excuses, but we get to look at, that's how we were designed, how we were created. That's we bring that in, whether we realize it or not, you know, are we willing to open our heart? Do we feel safe enough to open our heart and have a real relationship with anybody? You know, real conversation. You have to feel safe. And like last night, I love our, I love our small group because we all got to open up because yeah. we knew we were safe in that space. And so it was just so beautiful. I loved it.
Loved it. I'm very, very thankful for all of our sisters. Yeah, it's so amazing. And then when you look back and you look at your childhood and stuff, it seemed to be really maybe traumatic then. But then as you get older and you experience things, you kind of look at things in a different way. Like I have looked at our childhood and my mom in a different way now mm -hmm. that I'm older and can use my voice and be communicative. Um, and, and her love language mm -hmm. was different. Yeah. And so I didn't know at such a young age that there were, you know, different personality, you know, traits and different personality tests that you oh, can Oh gosh, do. I know. There's so much now. Right. There's so so everybody's love language is different. And my mom's, you know, if I look back now, you know, we, we were dressed, we were clothed, we were fed, you know, the house was in order. Our um, underwear were ironed perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, our pillowcases. Yes. Yeah. And that's, well, that's kind of traumatizing because when I make the bed and I do, you know, so I... In the hospital corners. I yeah. know. So, yeah. but that was her love language. But that, at the time, at such a young age, that's not what I needed. You know, I was so hungry and thirsty for, you know, touch and, and feel and, and that kind of love. Mm. And, and, you know, my mom's childhood wasn't the greatest. Mm. And so... So that's where we get to have, taught you know... how yeah. to love in the way that I needed to be loved and so you know and, and somebody I've had several people say like oh my gosh how did you turn out the way you are because I'm so touchy-feely I mean I think even Janelle would know that really um, really Janelle yeah okay but I am very touchy-feely you know just so different than what mom was but I think I'm that way because that's what I always wanted. That's what we're I'm either we are either crazy. exactly like it or right. we're completely opposite. Right, but and, I like yeah. I said earlier, I wanted to break the chain. Yeah, I didn't want to be yeah. like mom. Even at a very young age, I knew that that's not what I wanted, and so. But when you carry that over into your own family, into your marriage, or even to your kids, you know. And I told mm. Aiden, like I said last night, I shared with the group that you know I never felt that unconditional love from our mom, I, I'm sure, I, I really have to believe and have faith that yes. she did love us. Yeah. And But I've never felt that unconditional love, and I, that's one thing that I made it very clear to Aiden, is when you do something that's not right, or you make a mistake, or I'm not approving of something that you do, I still love you unconditionally. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. It's not like you're, you know, I don't ever... I try not to ever say you're a good boy because right good job you know because that was great. Yeah. yeah because I just wanted him to know that you are gonna make mistakes you are gonna do things that you know I might not approve of and you know but he has to go through his experiences just like friends do and sisters do and mm -hmm. and and we're not here to judge but um, it's just a different take a different mm -hmm. perspective yeah. and so it just kind of opens you up and when you are open to be real and honest and 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 truthful there's nothing to hide it's like it's so it's so, it's freeing. so freeing yeah it is so freeing it's, and you know what i've noticed too because you're you're always saying okay because i've never cried as much as i i'm just like a crybaby but you know what it is it's i know because it's, I, a, it's it's becoming kind of a little not not that we're not being sensitive i'm not it's trying becoming, to it's either becoming a you know i try bit, to hold it back it's right? becoming a little bit of a joke it's like Oh, oh, are you I, crying I know, again? I know, but but here's the thing. It's it's like when you put on this hard face and that facade and that front, like I had to be strong all the time and I like being strong. It's like you get to protect yourself with this with this shield of, you know, toughness or it, it's just so weird. So now that I am feeling everything mm. that I've pushed down for so many years, you know, it's like it's 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 overwhelming sometimes. Right. And yes, I do express right. that. I do and try I not to. I, know, I really I, do, I, right? I really shouldn't give you a hard time. No. Because for years, for years, mm -hmm. years when we were growing up, because she was always felt like she had to be the strong one for me. Um, and, and, you know, the household, she was always like taking Well, care you have of to them. navigate and you couldn't read the room like I could. Like you always have to navigate like, okay, what's mom going to be mad at? What should we have done differently? Right, but Put she, on was, a brave she face. was always like harder, like I said. And yeah. I was just like free flowing, la, 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 la. And so for years and years as we were growing up, I kept always saying, 
be sweet, be soft, please be soft, be sweet. And so now I'm like, oh my gosh, well, you definitely <laughs> are like a no, but it's so cool to, to have you yeah. feel, you know, and, and at first, you know, there's a lot of people, we have a lot of friends and people that we work with that, you know, are hardened and they don't want to go to that uncomfortable place mm -hmm. because it is kind of uncomfortable when you first like open up and, and, yeah. and you're like exposed. It's scarier you know? than crap. I yeah. mean, it's, it's very, very scary because you're, you're, you're showing up the real you. It's not like, Oh, here's what I'm going to say. Or it's not a speech. It's not a, you know, a nine to five job where you just click in. You're like showing up mm -hmm. the real deal. And so it is very, cause that's an opportunity to feel rejected. Right. You know, so, right. But it does it does affect all aspects of your life and, mm -hmm. it, and it allows you to be stronger in other areas of your life. I mean, I just, like I was telling a few people just recently, like, you know, what we want to do is like give you a shortcut to not have to waste years or spend years of, you know, what we've figured out right. in the last few years. And it's just, again, so freeing. And I don't think that I actually loved myself and it's not like in a oh you love yourself it you know it, well you kind of do kind of love yourself I, now no i don't yes you do you no it's uh, what i'm saying is I love know. myself fully to where i you know am happy with whatever i'm doing you yeah. know and, and and i'm not you know having that that on the shoulder that self but you still have to match everything you know, yeah. Not, like she always, yeah. Did you like, see my earrings? Okay. No, but that's that's not. Nice. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just... But um, yeah. So I, I I I actually like myself, and and it's not that I don't care, you know, what people think and stuff. But I I go at the my own. What is that saying? The own go at my own beat of the drum. I, I don't know those sayings, yeah. but you always kind of mix those up. But that's know. cute. Um, but so, yeah, so I, I really own who I am and, and take responsibility and, right. and what we've learned over, you know, the course of the last few years is, you know, just the way we respond and react to things. Whereas before, like it, man, I would just be holding a grudge and I would, be, you would hold it inside and I would blow up. So that was your thing. You would hold it in and just hold it in. And so now I know like when we're communicating and we're speaking, I feel confident in knowing I'm getting the real deal. Yeah. So that was the one thing that I always said to Maria, like, I want the real deal. You know, I want to know that we're really communicating. I don't want to have the dialogue going on in my head and you have something different in your head. I want to feel like we're truly present. So Right, but, but the blocking point there mm -hmm. was because, you know, because you kind of took on the role of the mother figure like, I didn't want to disappoint you, mm, you know, so I, I didn't yeah. want to disappoint you. And so a lot of times I just, you know, would say nothing because I always was the people pleaser. I wanted to smooth everything over. I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. And now I'll ruffle feathers all over the place. But, yeah, <laughs> she'll ruffle feathers. But it's, it's in the right tone, the right mannerism, um, you know, and it's and not saying can... that we don't struggle. And still, like... Hey, Jane! Jane! Hi, Jane! Mrs. Ward! Woo! Woo! Beautiful freaking pictures, too, by the way. Holy mackerel. I need oh to my see. I need to oh, see my gosh. Pictures. Well, she posted happy birthday. Well, I saw that. So yeah. beautiful. Oh, my oh. gosh. I'm so excited. But anyway, oh. yeah, we get to look at those pictures, Jane. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so I just think that, you know, I, I stuffed things down because I didn't want to disappoint you or disappoint other people. And I just feel like I'm at a time in my life now where it's like, I just feel so open and vulnerable, which is and, really nice because then you don't have to guess like, Oh, what are you thinking? And I'm not afraid to, you know, tell her, you know, what's bothering me or tell her the truth and you know, I mean, there's sometimes where my tone can, you know, be a little but bit But this is the cool thing, too, with but... our with our program is that we have all these tools for you. And not that we're going to go over yeah. the whole program because you can check that out on our site. But we have all these tools for you to make it more comfortable and on purpose. So when you do these exercises for yourself or with your sister 
or whatever. It's just such a healing process that you're going to know like every week, Hey, how did we do? You know what? Mm -hmm. We could do better at this or, um, and, and again, we have, we have everything for you to walk you through. Okay. Today you're going to, uh, talk about something really uncomfortable with your sister. You're going to, you're going to tell your sister something that she doesn't even know, you right. know, and then you open up that window to discuss and lay out some things. Cause there's been some shocking things that, you know, that we've explored. Yeah, and the thing about our program, we're finding, which it is it is geared, you know, towards sisters, sisters in Christ, and, you know, friends, and, and women in general, because we really want to uplift and empower women. I think that's so important. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, our program is, oh, there we are. Oh, here we are. Bye. Our program really is designed for, for everyone, you know, uh, you know, resolving conflict, um, effective communication, um, overcoming you know, struggles and, and um, trauma. And, you know, so it, even if you wanted to be part of our, our circle, we have a lot of women that don't even have a sibling. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, I want or to. They're trying to heal from it. And maybe they don't join with their, their sibling. but Right. So you don't necessarily have to yeah. have a sibling yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm excited. I'm excited. So on our, on our groups, on our classes and everything we're going to have um where we get to share and i really love the feedback that we've been getting so far but oh I, my gosh in fact i just got and it broke it didn't break my heart but it made my heart um full is i had this um i was on linkedin and i had this um she was a, she's a therapist a, yeah uh, that was a big one yeah a, th That's, a therapist yeah. for like 30 years and she reached out to me and she said oh my gosh i am just so excited for what you're doing because there's so many sisters out there that have not been able to navigate and to build that bond and that closeness. And she, you know, went on with the message. And then at the end, she said, I wish you were there for me and my family when we were going through stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Gosh, yeah. see, we know what we're doing, huh? But yeah, so... Yeah, anyway. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's, it's wonderful because like when you can have the tools and pr be prepared for, you know, holidays, get togethers yeah. or whatever, you don't have to like white knuckle it and grind your teeth and go, oh my gosh, hopefully this doesn't come up again. You know, I mean, let's just think about it. Okay. Most of the holidays, you know, you're like, oh, like we all want to get together, but then it's like, oh God, we're going to see blah, 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 like, and just tolerating things. So yeah being able to work on and again even yourself knowing you're going to come up with obstacles or or um what am i saying you're going to struggle yeah. what yeah struggles where you just kind of want to boop yeah boop, boop. she hasn't booped me in a long time no. I, I can work on it though but i can, we but, can switch it around and i can boop you yeah okay we'll mm -hmm. see if you live after that but uh anywho yeah um so yeah so we're excited this is our first live just to introduce because we just launched the program and we're really really excited do you have anything else to say corinne corinne <laughs> hi corinne <laughs> Or a sister. So we could bring any of you on the video with us. Can we? Does anybody want to? Wow. So what? You just us? push that button. Yeah, We're still learning. I think so I know. Wow. It's, it's so a, what did they have to do? Raise their hand or what? Hi, ladies. Ah, yeah. Corrine wants to be on. Wow. But yeah. So, anyways, our our program is like it's like it's like a three part program, and so the first part is. Just, you know, unreally unveiling the pain and the struggles, you know, like deep rooted, unspoken things that, you know, have really been inside of you. Mm -hmm. And then um, just understanding those. So we have so many workbooks and activities and, and journals and the thought trigger tracker is one thing oh, that yeah. I really like because... You never know. And, and when you're aware and you're doing these exercises and you've got your homework and you're part of the community and we get to share, you're aware of like, wow, why, why did that just make me flare up? You know what I mean? And it's so interesting to be able to have that conversation yes. when the heat is down um, about what, what triggered that. And then just to dive in and, and, and really dissect all the Right, hidden, but, but in pain, but like you said. Yeah, yeah. But the biggest thing is acknowledging yeah. the triggers 
Like I already know what things are going to trigger me or I can feel it. And then I can take a step back and be able to, you know, recognize it and then be able to respond and act the way that I should be, you know, instead of... That like, you get to be? I get to be, get yes. To, yeah. So that's part one. And then part okay. two is healing and rebuilding. You know, that's, you know, yeah. we're rebuilding our bond. Yep. And, you know, getting together. And, and that's kind of fun. And that's really kind of fun. So a lot of accountability in that. And, and then... then yeah. Our, our third is empowering and thriving together. So that's where we get to go deeper to, okay, you know what? The honeymoon phase is over, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we get to live life. And how are we going to keep that alive? How are we going to keep our bond strong? Like, cause it's not like you never arrive, yeah. you know? I mean, even with the marriage, you never arrive. You got to keep things spicy. You got to think, keep, Trust you know, me. I know. And you do a really good job with that. You know, just showing Little things. So we kind of help you out with that. We give you some props and some things and some ideas and some activities to do together to help reconnect and bond and to keep that love alive, you know. So we got right. a lot of a lot of good right. stuff and I'm really, really excited. And, and the nice thing is, is you can use all of the tools and everything that we've gone through, not just with your sister, because we well, don't have anybody, but with friends and co-workers. And it just makes you individually so strong inside to be able to know. Well, I mean, you can't, you know, you can only give what you have inside. Yeah. So if you're not whole and complete and healed, which we're never going to arrive until we get to heaven, right? Right. This is true. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how you show up. If you're Just empty. let me know when you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready yesterday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. I think that's it, unless we yeah. have any questions. But thank you so much for joining us in our little rant. I know, right? And we're really, really excited. We're still signing up several members. And I know you're, you're checking out your little portal. And we're just really excited. We're always here. So you can reach out to us if there's anything that we can help you with. And we look forward to working with you in the trenches. Do you have anything else to say, Maria? No, but I just... Love you. Love you guys. And, and I want here. even more sisters than this one. Yay. Okay, I'm no, going to take just, that person. No, take don't person. take it personal. I'm not. I'm no, not. Okay. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're all good. We're good. Okay. Love you guys. Okay. Oh. Aw, the work that you do have done is absolutely amazing and will be blessing you, so much. I love you so much, Corrine. Oh. I swear I love you. We need to, we need to spend, we, we get to do we a date. Get to, we get to do get a to date. Do We're going to hook up with, with our you. other yes, sister, Yes, Corrine. it's been way, way too mm -hmm. long. That's what happens. Life gets in the way. No, so, we're not letting it get in no, the way. No, we're not. We're, we're going to, we're going to set something up with you, Corrine. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Okay, okay. sisters. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Mm -hmm.